We present a method for removing objects from neural radiance fields. Given an RGBD scan with unwanted objects, our method produces clean novel view renderings without the unwanted object. We first in-paint the captured RGBD frames and corresponding object masks using an off-the-shelf 2D in-painting method. Second, we lift these in-paintings into 3D using a neural radiance field. The key insight that drives our method is that while each 3D in-painting is plausible, they are not multi-view consistent. We therefore design an optimization-based view selection scheme that selects consistent views along the trajectory. Finally, we use the trained neural radiance field to render novel views where the object has been consistently removed. We also present a new dataset to evaluate object removal from nerves. For more information, please continue watching, read the paper or visit us at our poster. Hello, I'm Sylvan and we present the method for removing objects from neural radiance fields. This is joint work between Niantic and ETH Zurich. Let's dive into it. Neural radiance fields or nerves are a popular novel view synthesis method. They take as an input an unordered collection of photos or a video sequence like this and can be used to produce beautiful photorealistic renderings from new viewpoints, like this one. But the real world isn't always as beautiful as we might like. This is a nice looking doorway, but there's an ugly trash bag left out on the street. In this work, we present the method to remove objects from nerve reconstructions. So, if the ugly objects gets masked in the input frames, we can generate renderings with the object removed like this. And here's our output side by side with the original nerve output. Notice that our predictions have removed the object in a believable, multi-view consistent manner. We take as input a video with known depths and camera poses. The user specifies a 3D bounding volume to indicate the object to mask out from all input frames. We leverage an off-the-shelf 2D in-painting network to in-paint the color and depth values inside the masked regions. But notice that the in-paintings aren't multi-view consistent. They change between input frames. If we train a nerve on these in-painted images, the result is blurry and unconvincing, as you can see on the right here. This poor result motivates our key contribution confidence-based view selection. We observed that the in-paintings which are good tend to be consistent between different input views. Our method works by ultimately selecting a subset of the in-painted regions to include when training the nerve. For each input mask, we optimize a confidence. During training, these confidences update to reflect how much the model trusts each 2D in-painting. And every so often during training, we remove low confidence in paintings from the optimization. Our output is multi-view consistent without flickering and the in-painted regions are plausible. Let us now have a closer look at the architecture of our neural radiance field. Our neural radiance field is based on the mid-nerve architecture with a backbone F-sigma and a color head F-C outputting the density and the color. We augment this architecture with a second color hat, FMV, that is trained to capture multi-view consistent color. Thus, we remove a degree of freedom for this hat by not taking the ray direction as an input. This hat is a regularization technique in our method. The output of all hats is rendered into the target view using well-known volume rendering. Reproduce I hat D hat and I hat multi view given an input camera pose. Since we now know the underlying architecture of our nerve, how do we train it to obtain multi view consistent in paintings? We introduce a new optimization variable u that is capturing the uncertainty of each in painted view. These variables are jointly optimized together with all other parts of the pipeline. The first loss we compute is the standard mean squared error loss on the rendered RGB image. Inside the mask, this loss is weighted by the uncertainty variable. Thus, the uncertainty variable attenuates the loss for views where uncertainty is high. 
We also compute the depth loss on the depth map. Similar to the RGB loss, we weight the loss with the uncertainty variable inside the mask. Finally, we also compute the loss on the multi-view color hat that is weighted with the uncertainty hat. Since we need to avoid that the uncertainty values converge to infinity, we need to add a further regularizer preventing that from happening. Additionally, we empirically found that adding the density regularizer introduced in MIPNR 360 improves the optimized results. When removing objects from neural radiance fields, we must ask the question on how to evaluate this task. We need scans of scenes with and without an unwanted object to have both input and ground truth data for evaluation. To this end, we create a new dataset where we use ARKit to capture RGBD sequences. We first scan the scene containing the object. Then, while keeping the ARKit session running to guarantee consistent coordinate frames, we remove the object and scan it again, trying to keep viewing directions and coverage consistent. We also create a synthetic benchmark where we place synthetic shape net scans inside the empty scenes. This gives us an additional control over the testing scheme and we can control for well-known extrapolation issues in NERVs during evaluation. We report results for both benchmarks in the paper. Here, we show a comparison between the input, the per-frame inpaintings obtained using LAMA, and the renderings with the object removed. You can see that compared to LAMA, our inpaintings are multi-view consistent with flickering between frames significantly removed. Here, we show our comparison to the baselines. The baselines are from left to right masked nerve, where we just don't optimize inside the mask region, in painting nerve, where we train the model without the view selection scheme, pixel synth, object compositional nerve, hours, as well as the ground truth. One can see that compared to the baselines, the flickerings and artifacts are significantly reduced. In summary, we presented a method that can consistently remove objects from neural radiance fields given RGBD scans and object masks. We introduced a novel view selection scheme that is based on the optimization of per-view uncertainty variables to improve the multi-view consistency of the reconstruction. We provide a new dataset suited to evaluate the task of removing unwanted objects from RGBD scans. For more information, come visit us at our poster or have a look at our paper.